Hi everyone, it is time for another 3 looks 1 palette. You guys know I love these videos. I literally got done finishing my Kat Von D 3 looks 1 palette yesterday and today I am starting with my Sina 2 palette which I'm very excited about. If you haven't already seen what this palette looks like, it looks like this. It is gorgeous. It's got some really nice colors. I've already done a first impression on this palette. I will link that up there if you want to check it out. Today I think what I want to do is... So actually the first thing I thought of when I saw this palette was these two shades right here put together. This is Jade and the black one, and I just thought that they would make such a good combination. So I think what I want to do today is do a very like grungy, dark, black, smoky eye with a green in my crease and then that Jade in my inner corner. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyes and I'm going to do that the way I always do it. I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot and I will not set this. Next, I'm just going to pack some powder, loose powder under my eye because I'm pretty sure that we will have quite a bit of fallout when working with black, especially packing it all over the lid. So this is not the kind of look that I do very often, so I never know what the best way to do it is, if I should start with my crease color or start with the black on the lid, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start packing the black all over my lid and then try to blend that out with the greens. And I'm going to pack this very generously on a Morphe M224 brush, which is very similar to the MAC brush that I like to use, and I'm going to start off by just stamping this on. And I want to make sure I don't pull this up too high so that it's hard to blend out. And for only being one dip into the palette here, I'm getting a very nice opaque layer of black, which is just what I want. So I think this is good for now. So I'm super impressed by how that black applied. I literally put my brush into the pan one time and this is what I got on my lips. So that's amazing. Next up, I'm dipping into my Hia, which is this dark green shade and I'm using my Morphe M321 brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stamp this right on top of where the black ends. And hopefully I'll be able to blend this out. And it's going to look a little cray cray just until the look is done because we have a lot of blending to do left. And I'm not expecting this to look good after just one swipe on the lid. I'm switching over to my M506 brush, which is more of a fluffy blending brush. And I'm first going to just blend out the edges up here. And now I'm going to go in over that line where I put on the black and start blending the two colors together, hopefully. And I'm probably ha going to have to go in with more black, which is why I didn't want to put the black too high up because I figured this would happen. And black is kind of hard to work with when you're doing a smoky eye like this. It's tough to get the blend completely right. So I am dipping into a little bit more black. And I'm going to start putting that right on top of where the green and black meets. And I'm making sure to not pull this color up anymore if I can avoid it and just really going over the line where they meet. Looks like this really just take a lot of patience. Next I'm going back in with a little bit more green doing the same thing. And then just going back and forth between the two colors until you get the blend the way you want it. Next, stepping back into the black with the same brush, I'm just going to go over the lower part of the lid here and then start blending it upwards again to really bring back that intensity that we first had. So with the blend looking pretty good now, I'm going to go in with this other green shade as well called Erin. And I'm going to use that just on the very top here to blend that out. Tapping off my brush to not have too much product on it, and I'm just going to go over just on top of where the dark green ends. And I'm almost blending this into my brows, but not fully. And I'm honestly a little shocked right now because I have no fallout under my eye at all. Like, 
nothing. Like, that's crazy. So if you were thinking about picking up this palette, I would highly recommend it. I've played with it so many times off camera now as well, and I absolutely love it. I'm quickly going in with a little bit of my MAC Paint Pot on my lower lash line, just to make the shadow stick a little bit more. And without setting it, I'm going to go in with that same green shade that we put on to blend out the black first. And I don't want to use black on my lower lash line because I find it's just a little bit too harsh on me. And next I'm going in with that lighter green shade to blend out what I just put down. And for that real pop of color in my inner corner, I'm going to go in with Jade. And I am using my little Morphe M149 brush and I'm going to spray this as well. I'm going to put this right in my inner corner. And I'm bringing it in over the block just a little bit. Into my waterline, I'm sure this comes as no surprise, I'm going to use my teaspoon by ColourPop. This is just a green pencil and it's pretty much the same color as what I have on my lower lash line, so that's perfect. And to finish off, a little bit of mascara. So sorry if the lighting just changed, but somehow we have some clouds outside and I don't know what's going on. So for lips, I'm just going to keep it nude today. And I'm going to use my all-time favorite lipstick, and this is Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star. Here is the finished look. I've been wanting to do a look like this for so long and I just haven't had like the right palette or the right occasion to do so. So very happy I got to try this out today and I'm really happy with how it came out. And I think we should just jump into look number two. All right, it's time for a look number two. And I'm so sorry if the lighting is going to be changing today because it's actually overcast and we're supposed to have a storm, which never happens here in Vegas. So. I apologize in advance if the weather is like all over the place and stuff, but I want to try something new today and I'm feeling kind of adventurous. So what I want to do is I want to work with the blues and the purples and I want to do, I don't know if you've seen this on Instagram before, but you know how when you do cut crease, you usually like wing it out, but instead of doing like a winged out cut crease, I want to do like a full moon cut crease. I think that's what they call it. And then do like a bit of a halo on the eye or something like that. I don't even know. So I'm going to start off by dipping into Mohan, which is the dark purple right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease. And I have not set my primer, uh, so I'll be stamping this on. And then I'm going to go in and blend it out afterwards with a lighter shade. So I'm not putting this up too, too high. So this is literally going all over my crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. And this is going to be kind of like a circle. Next, I'm just going to blend this out a little bit before I go in with that lighter shade. So I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush. This doesn't have to be perfect yet. And then I'm going to dip into Iris, which is the lighter kind of pink shade with that same fluffy brush. And I'm going to start running that on top before I put down the purple. And this shade is definitely more of like a diffuser shade doesn't have that much pigment to it but it definitely does help blend out this shade beautifully I'm going to pack just a little bit more of that purple on the outer and inner corner before I cut my crease next I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand and then using a small concealer brush I'm going to do what I always do when I cut my crease. I'm going to start by putting a little dot in the middle of my eye. Actually, like kind of a stripe. And then I look up and I see where I need to cut my crease. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make kind of like a circle. So kind of like this. So I think what I want to do is I want to put Re on my inner and outer corner. 
And I'm going to just start by packing this on. I'm so sorry about the lighting in this video, but it's going to look a little something like this. And for the middle of my eye, I think I want to put Jade, which is the same shade that I used in my inner corner in my previous look. So I'm just going to be stamping this on. Just going back in again with Re, just intensifying the inner and outer corner, and then just blending this over the shimmer that I just put down again one more time. And now I'm going to go try to do the same thing on the other eye. Wish me luck, because if I mess this up, then I'm not going to be happy, so. So I think it's looking as even as I can get it. And now I'm just going to go over a little bit with that dark purple again, just right on top of the line here, just to kind of intensify this. I'm going in with a little bit more of my paint pot for my lower lash line. And I'm feeling a little bit like I just want to try every shade in this palette, so I'm going to go in with Anika. I mean, I have tried this before, but I just feel like using a lot of different shades today, so we're going in with that on the lower lash line. And then just taking a clean fluffy brush to blend this out. And in my inner corner, I'm going to put this light blue shade called Faya, or Fay. And to finish up, I'm going to do a wing, put on some mascara, and then I will figure out what to do with my lower lash line, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I tried to do some giant wings, not sure how I did. It's really freaking hard with hooded eyes, but I think I did an okay job. In my waterline, I put the Urban Decay Deep End Pencil, which is just like a turquoise, and I felt like it went really well with the look. Uh, I also took off my lipstick, and I think I'm going to use this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Philosopher. So here is the second look. Uh, let me know what you think of this technique that I used on my eyes. Uh, I'm honestly like surprised that it looks good on my eye shape because I didn't think it would, but I kind of like it. I almost think I like it more than like regular cut creases and even halo eyes because I feel like I can like fake my eyes into looking like they're not as hooded as they actually are. So let me know if you try this technique and what you think of it because I think it looks kind of cool and I'm actually really happy with how my wings came out today, which I can't say very often. So I think we should just move on to look number three. But before I forget, I just want to ask you guys to vote for which palette you want to see me do this with next. And the two palettes that I have to choose between is the Destiny palette by Certify and the other one that you can choose from is going to be the Blossom palette by Blush Tribe. I still haven't used this because I wanted to do a first impression on my channel with it. So if you guys choose this, I'll probably put up a first impression first and then do a 3 looks 1 palette. If not, I will just do the 3 looks 1 palette with the other palette. So let's just move on to the Hasina 2 palette. So I'm going to start off by just priming my eyes as always. So I think I just want to do a really simple look today and I'm going to take Anika on my E9 ColourPop brush. I have not set my primer and I'm going to just put this all over my lid and also blend it up into my crease. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this as opaque as I wanted to, but I'm going to try to just take a little bit more of my finger and just really press it into my eyelid. That seemed to really work actually, so that's nice. I'm just going over again with the brush just to blend out the edges. Hopefully the pigment on the lid won't go away. And I did get quite a bit of fallout from doing that, which kind of sucks and still didn't get as opaque as I wanted it to. Which, I mean, that's fair because it's really hard for a color like this to get super opaque. So I'm taking, what's this called, Mina on my MAC 242 brush. 
and I'm going to spray this and just put it all over my lid. And then just going back over it again with that color pop brush. So sorry about the lighting constantly changing. Like this is what happens when sometimes there's sun out and then the sun goes away and you don't catch it before it's too late and then you have to switch the lighting and then the sun changes again and you have to switch it again. So I actually caved last night and I ordered some actual like ring lights and stuff. So I'm super excited about that because I can't wait to start doing like long wear tests where I can film at night and stuff. And I have some really fun series I think coming up that I want to start on my channel. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So I'm super excited to get some real lighting. It's been in the works for a while now. I just haven't really pulled the trigger, I guess, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in it, but now I'm definitely sure that I'm ready. So fallout is gone. That was pretty easy to remove. I'm going to just run in the other room and pick up something that we're going to have a little bit of fun with. I'll be right back. So the little thing that I wanted to pick up is this little nail art tool. And I bought this because of Butte Bean. I will leave her channel up there if you haven't checked her out already. But basically it's just like a tiny little, I wouldn't even know how to explain this, but I'm going to use this to make little dots with, and I'm going to dunk that into my NYX liner because I don't trust the applicator on this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little white dots on my lid. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I thought maybe it would be cool to just give it a try. So I'm just taking a little bit like on my little stamp here and I'm just going to start by putting these random places. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's my first time doing this, so. I'm going to wait for this to dry now and I'm also going to go in with my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick this is like a dark purple and some shade blue velvet I guess it's a blue <laughs> so I'm just going to do the same thing If you guys are interested in getting one of these, I will link the one that I bought down below. It's from Amazon, like everything else in my life. So I'm going to put just a little bit more of the white ones. I'm going to use the applicator because I want very, very tiny little dots. Just because when my eyes are closed, you can't see a lot of them, so I just want to make sure that still see some poking through. See how easy that was? So for my lower lash line, I'm going to just put a little bit more of my paint pot, like I've been doing lately. And I think I want to take the purple and just smoke that out of my lower lash line. I'm also going to add a black wing to this. Probably not a huge wing, but just a little baby wing. And to finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes and put on a little bit of mascara. Don't know how I forgot to put on an inner corner highlight, but I'm going to use my Kat Von D Alchemist palette. And I think I'm going to use this one called Ultraviolet Amethyst. I think that might look, might look good. So I'm going to put that right into my inner corner here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. All right, so I'm going to put this Marc Jacob pencil in my waterline. It is called Mist Me. And then some more mascara. 
for lips I'm going to keep it very simple today. I'm going to use this NYX lip liner, which is like one of the only lip liners that I have that I never use. And if you're wondering about the shade, it's called Bed Rose. And on top of that, I'm just going to go in with my Dior lip gloss. This is so old. It's in the shade 363, very original. So here's the final look, and I guess I should do a little mini review on the Hussein 2 palette. Um, honestly, the more I use it, the more I like it. Uh, I had some issues with the shimmers in the beginning, but honestly, like once I've kind of gotten through that first layer of the shadows, they seem to perform a lot better than they did when I first got them. Hang on, let me just change up this lighting again. So yeah, when I've used this for a while, they keep getting better and better. So I am like so happy with this palette. I don't really have any issues at all. The only thing that I kind of struggled with today was that blue shade because I just didn't want to look like opaque if I put it all over my lid. Look at this fucking lighting. I am literally so over it. Like the amount of times that I have to do that every time I film right now, it's just ridiculous. So anyway, I would give this palette probably an 8 out of 10. Um, I'm kind of picky, so I am pretty harsh on my ratings. Uh, I've always been like that, even with movies and stuff like that too. Like I never want to give something a 10 because there's always things that can be improved on or that isn't perfect. So 8 out of 10 is still pretty good and I would highly recommend this palette if you're looking for it. I don't know if it's still in stock. I'm so sorry about the lighting again. Yeah, I don't know if this is still in stock, but if it is, I would definitely snag it as soon as you can because it's probably going to sell out very quickly, so. So that was it for this 3 looks 1 palette. Let me know which one was your favorite, as always. Uh, I have a very hard time choosing, but I think I'm going to say this one. I don't know. Um, don't put a gun to my head because I can't really choose, so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, as always, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you would consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.